So... I don't need any introduction because everyone of course know me from my uh, vlogs. Everyone knows me from my... Uh... No one knows me. <laughs> huh? But if you want to know me, you better watch my vlogs because I am up to date like everyone. I am basically a wannabe sim racer, I wanna be a snowboarder, I wanna be a biker, I wanna be basically everyone. So uh, uh, if you wanna see my, uh, my awesome beautiful Hollywood life, uh, just uh, what's gonna be on this channel, it's gonna be mostly about what lifestyle, what I live basically my whole life and my friends and uh, I have zero clue how uh, often I'm gonna be doing these vlogs. Maybe this is gonna be the first and last one. Who knows? If you if you are gonna be interested to see something, uh, just don't do it because it anyway sucks. It fucking sucks. And now let's kick into the action. So we finish our drop. Here it is. We are cleaning windows on this building. It's a little bit difficult, awkward shape. But that's uh, not what I want to talk about. It's Friday and uh, the long weekend is in front of us. So I'm really looking forward to what it's gonna be. And we are going back up, land this sucker and go home. This tree is very much like that now where it's this beast that must be fed. And so there's, there can't possibly be... Okay, so the, the weekend didn't even start it yet. And uh, I'm already on some projects, what I have to finish. So a couple of weeks ago I repainted my skid plate and now I just want to put a Toyota sign here so I'm just going to use this, this spray and uh, later maybe today or tomorrow I'm going to I'm going to uh, install it back here and after when I will be finished with this I am heading to my friend uh, to to bleed my uh, brakes uh, to be ready for Monday's Whistler It's only a skid plate, it doesn't need to look amazing. Yeah, buddy! Bike is getting some love. Okay, a couple hours later I'm back. And let's take a look how it looks over here. I'm gonna tear off this tape and uh, install the skid plate on my car. Okay, it looks pretty good. So, of course it started to rain when I wanted to do something. So I'm soaking wet, but finally I made it pretty good it looks like new so it's a uh, sunday and uh, we are heading for the second time on the other side of vancouver where is uh, a go-kart arena and um, if you are asking why for the second time because yesterday was an epic fail day it was nasty outside, it was raining and I had an emergency call from my company and I had to go to work from the morning and afternoon uh, when we finally get to the goal card with my friend uh, we didn't realize that it's gonna be so full so we just asked the guy at the counter when it's, uh, when we, when it's gonna be available for us and he said like maybe two hours from now so we just look at it, look at each other, and uh, uh, we said no, this is not gonna work. So we book it for today. So that's why we are heading today, basically there. So uh, so that's it. So let's uh, see you there uh, at the go kart arena. Okay, guys, we are here. I pick up Jacob from his home, and we came uh, to TBC Indoor Karting. Jacob is already inside, and. We are gonna have uh, four, four races, I mean five races, because one is for free each month if you have a membership. And now I'm gonna show you how it is on, on board.
ladies and gentlemen and we started like real pros uh jacob didn't even make the first corner and <laughs> the staff had to help him and uh, the first uh, laps are pretty slow you are getting used to the the card and the tires are cold uh, you are sliding around a bit slowly you are getting quicker and quicker and uh blah 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 blah, blah. Fast forward a little bit into the session and uh, here I am trying to follow uh, Jacob and we are using the, the clean track in front of us to do some, some quicker laps and uh, we had fun the whole time. You are trying to, to push yourself, to push a little bit more the, the laps because this uh, go-karting thing is uh, not about racing each other, but it's basically beating your your own time. But unfortunately, later on in the video, you will see that uh, not everyone knows this uh, this rule, and people will try to block you and uh, and try to to do really really stupid stuff. But on the other side, this is for everyone, so you have to be. Uh, careful and uh, respect everyone who is on the track as well. And then this is exactly what I am talking about. So uh, we got a slower guy who we wanted to overtake, but he decided to block us. But on the other side, it's better to have some action on the video than boring hot lapping, right? For example here, Jacob tried to overtake this guy, but he completely ignored him. It's just sometimes it's a little bit unnecessary what, what the people are doing. Jacob opened the, the gate for me, so I, I overtook him and tried to, to overtake this guy as well. But I managed right here. It was an uh, uh, awesome feeling actually to, to overtake someone in the fastest section of the track. Okay, but the sherry on the top was definitely my uh, contact with, with one guy. It was the same situation like uh, Jacob had. And check this out. I was quite lucky that I wasn't pushed uh, more into those standing obstacles <laughs> and I never thought that I can uh, manage something like this on, uh, on go-kart track. So uh, uh, even when it's a go-kart, uh, you can uh, have it accidents like this. Fine. It was a pretty nasty hit. It should be fine. Yeah, I think it's okay. It should be alright. Yeah.
Our entire session was uh, half hour long. We had some uh, some other battles on the track as well, and uh, everything under 26 seconds on this track is pretty pretty good. And uh, I managed to do 25.9, and uh, Jacob did 25.6. Okay guys, so we are done. We had four races, but after a misunderstanding, uh, we asked and we had another another fifth race. So we had five races in total. And uh, yeah, I don't know, like the feelings are pretty good. Like this was the third time in my life that I went to some kind of go-kart place. And it started here in Canada. And my friend Jacob, he, he was racing for, for three years and uh, the funny thing is, uh, he is my teammate in uh, in sim racing in uh, in Slovak Championship, and uh, and we both live in Canada and we didn't know uh, before about each other. So that's a funny thing. Do you want to say something to it? <laughs> Just enjoy racing. That's it. <laughs> So I mentioned sim racing uh, when we left the karting arena. So now I have to train with my uh, teammate uh, Jacob for a sim racing race, uh, the final at Monza for a solo championship. So I'm gonna show you how it's gonna go. So and here is just a short glimpse how uh, looks our training with Jacob for the Slovak uh, Sim Racing Championship which is under the wings of the Slovak Motorsport Association and basically we are fine tuning and dialing everything and trying to make the fastest laps as possible and learning every single inch of the track because sim racing is really hard and the competition was pretty hard as well. So this is just uh, a, a example how how we are how we are training for for the final round. As you can see, I had lots of fun on Sunday, but mostly I was looking forward for the next morning because I went to Whistler for the last ride of the season because they are closing the bike park. But that's gonna be in the next video because I don't wanna have it too long. So uh, see you in the next vlog. See ya!